find all relative extrema using the second derivative test, so solution. So to use the second derivative test, you start by finding the critical numbers. Then you take the critical numbers and you plug them into the second derivative. If it's positive, you have a min. If it's negative, you have a max, and you're pretty much done. So let's start by taking the derivative and finding the critical numbers. So let's rewrite this first. This can be written as x squared plus 25 to the 1 half. It makes it much easier to take the first derivative. All right, so f prime of x is equal to, you take the 1 half and you bring it down. So we get 1 half x squared plus, looks like 25. And then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, right? We have to use the chain rule, so that's 2x. And we set this equal to 0. This can be rewritten as follows. So f prime of x is equal to, let's see, the 2's cancel, the x will stay upstairs, and we can bring this guy downstairs and it becomes positive. So x squared plus 25 to the 1 half. And we set this equal to 0. Okay, this is a fraction. There's no common factors, so we can automatically set the numerator equal to 0 and that's going to be our critical number. Now we have to take the second derivative. So step one of the second derivative test was finding the critical numbers. We did that, and now we'll take the second derivative. So f double prime of x, we'll use the quotient rule. So it's the derivative of the first or the top piece. So one times the second piece. So x squared plus 25 to the 1 half minus the first piece, or the top piece, times the derivative of the second piece, or, or bottom piece. So here we have to use the chain rule. So we'll bring the 1 half down, and we'll leave the inside untouched. So x squared plus 25, subtract 1, we get negative 1 half, and then chain rule, chain rule says we multiply by the derivative of x squared plus 25, so 2x. And all of this is being divided by this thing here with all the arrows <laughs> squared. So that would just be x squared plus 25. And do we set this equal to 0? No, no way. Um, we find the second derivative and we plug in the critical number. That's it. So f double prime of 0. So this is 0 plus 25. So it's 25 to the 1 half minus, well, x is 0 right? So there's zeros here. And zero times a number is zero. So all of this is just zero. So you get zero. And on the bottom you get, uh, looks like zero plus 25. So we end up with uh, 25 to the one half over 25, uh, which is positive. So we have a min at x equals 0, right? That's the second derivative test. You find the critical numbers, which we did. So to find the critical numbers, you take the first derivative, set it equal to 0, there it is, boom. Take the second derivative, plug in your critical number. If it's positive, you have a min. If it's negative, you have a max. So we have a min at x equals 0. To actually find the minimum, we take the 0 and plug it back into the original function. So f of 0 is the square root of 0 squared plus 25. That's the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So 5. That, that's the minimum. Minimum. Right? And that's it. That's how you use the second derivative test.